Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I'm here with two cards to share from the Seahorse Kisses collection. In the previous video when I did the introduction, I showed you these two fabulous, elegant cards because this whole Glimmer collection designed by Don W is the gift that keeps on giving. The only thing I wanted to clarify before I go any further I showed you guys this, the Seahorse Garden Stamps. We weren't sent the dies, but there is a die set that comes with this bundled together, okay? I just wanted to clarify that because in the video, I did not put that there was dies. <laughs> I did link it below and I said stamp and die, but I just want you to know that if you love this, there are coordinating dies to cut out all these images. I'll show you the picture here. Love. And you can color this with your Olo markers, Copate markers, color pencils, watercolor. If you love to watercolor, this might be really fabulous to watercolor, stamped out and watercolor, okay? So Seahorse Gardens does have a die set that comes with it. So to recap really quickly, remember that the collection is five items. Three Glimmer Hot Foil plates, that stamp and die, and this embossing folder not a large collection but boy she is a collection that does pack a punch in terms of beauty and loads of glimmer fun yes i'm going to go into a little sidebar there is that spellbinders free glimmer workshop beginner and advanced workshop and it will be on saturday may 13th 9 a.m Pacific time, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Two class kits that you can purchase if you want to purchase the items that will be used in the workshop. There is the main class kit and the advanced class kit. I will be linking both below. I suggest that you watch the workshop because one, it's a free workshop. Two, you can learn to glimmer or glimmer better. We can always take tips in advance. I always have issues with the hinge method. So I'm definitely going to be watching the beginner class and the advanced class just to get my glimmering more straight. <laughs> like this for me is super easy because I can just cut it out with a die. But if you want to line up certain things, I want to see the workshop just for more tips on that. It is live. You can ask all your questions and you can glimmer along with the workshop. Have your glimmer machine there and your die cutting machine. Both the original glimmer machine is on sale in the spring cleaning warehouse sale that's happening right now. So is the large format platinum die cutting machine. Both of them are not the new and improved, but hey, they both work perfectly fine both of those are on sale i just have to let you know about that glimmer workshop it is designed for folks who bought the glimmer hot foil system watching this video and it's like i should use it but spellbinders wants to get you past the hump of i can't do it into i can do it so i'm going to be talking about it time and time again all the way up to the 13th because i think it's a great class especially if you bought the system and you are not using it to its fullest potential it is so worth it and this collection definitely highlights why it's worth giving it a try so if you did get some of this and you still haven't tried get your hot foil plates ready and get ready to have fun on that workshop if you missed the workshop it will have a replay that will never go away so you can always watch the replay but the beauty of watching it live also doing it live that day is that one you'll do it you won't keep putting it off two you can get to ask questions so yeah i'll be there too with you guys back to my video <laughs> So with my first card, I have a few items going on here. I have the Under the Sea Hot Foil Plate. I did use before, I used this little beauty right here. And the rest of it I had all glimmered and cut out. Now you can see, you can make a card without coloring. But I decided to take my Olo markers and color and how I colored this was all light colors and I left a lot of white and I think it worked out well. Took these two images, that fish and this little collage here that's so cute and colored them up in the background here. Spellbinders brush gold cardstock, love. And it's on top of this copper. So there's like all different kinds of golds happening here. They don't all match, but I think it still works out. This is like a rose gold foil cardstock, and I did cut this out with the 
postage edge oval dies. This is part of the postage edge shapes collection. This entire collection is on sale in the spring warehouse sale. So let's talk about it for two seconds. You get all of this if you want. Oval, circle, square, rectangle, slimline. So I'm using the oval here. It's the second one here to create that wonderful focal point. You can call it a label. Another option I was considering was the fluted classic ovals. Here is fluted classic rectangles on this card from the same Seahorse Kisses collection. Both of them are actually colored up with Olo markers. So this one, I went full coloring. Notice how it's brighter, more vibrant. This one is like a little bit of coloring, leave a lot of white. So you can color this collection both ways, which I love both ways. I could have also used this too, but I liked how that postal edge shape kind of looks nautical to me with the fishnet. <laughs> fishnet? I guess it's fishnet, I don't know, rope. This is such a out the gate winner embossing folder love. This is an oversized embossing folder. It is a 3D embossing folder and is called Castaway and it is five and a half inch wide, eight and a half inch tall. So you can choose where you want your A2 card to land. I chose mine right about here, but I ran the entire panel and then played with the placement. Here, seahorse floral. So I did here. Sending an ocean of, that's a glimmer hot foil plate, cut out with the coronating die. Thanks, cut out with the coronating die. Have my fish, have my collage here. And then on that beautiful, in a cream colorway, that castaway embossing folder, open it up. And in here, I pulled out the stamp set and I did Our Friendship is Deeper Than the Ocean. Stamp that, put the shell, then stamp these little bubbles. This and this, I think, is the one I stamped. Isn't that cute on the inside too? So sending an ocean of thanks. And then the person flip it up. Our friendship is deeper than the ocean. Love. Didn't even heat emboss. I realized when I heat emboss on the inside, sometimes my paper starts curling. I so. did stamp it with pigment ink just to get it crisp. Love it. Love this. So that's card number one. Here we are now going into card number two. A little bit more, I don't want to say simple, but simple. <laughs> and I'm laughing because let me tell you this... I didn't waste at all. If you watch the introduction to the Seahorse Kisses collection, I had used postage edge rectangles. So technically in this one, I did use postage edge twice. Postage edge ovals, postage edge rectangles, both on sale, spring cleaning warehouse sale. Two thumbs up. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you've been wanting these, there are certain times that I'm like, hint, hint. <laughs> it's a good sale. So I had used the postage edge here and cut this inner piece out, then used my trimmer to make the frame. When I had cut this, and I'm using my expensive hammer mill cardstock, I had this piece left. And I thought, you know, I'm going to go back in and hot foil it. But then inspiration got me and I went a completely different way. I took out a stencil instead. After I took out my stencil, I decided to go for texture. And I want to bring it up close to you so you can see. Look at that texture. That is achieved. One with the stencil, Hummingbird Textures stencil, and Simon Hurley's Lunar Paste. This color, look at that. Slippery when wet. So pretty. Goes perfectly with the Glimmer Hot Foil Roll, right? Now let's see if you guys can guess where I got that Glimmer Hot Foil Roll. Satin Metallics. Satin Metallics, I think it is, it's looking like it's the rose gold color. This is also on sale, spring cleaning warehouse sale. I'm getting myself a few rolls too. My cart is like this, it's just expanding, but I need to check out. This is on sale too. <laughs> oh my goodness, crafters. <laughs> and I just hauled this like two months ago, I bought this myself and now it's in the sale and I'm like, okay. <laughs> But hey, the sentiment, thinking of you, that's from the Seahorse Kisses Sentiments Hot Foil Plate. So at first, I actually had this as a uber clean card. I had just this piece and the sentiment, and I was like, I am done. I really want to get into making clean cards too. They're just not that easy for me because I just keep on wanting to go. Like I was dying to add some gems, but something said, no, stop, leave it alone. But the beauty of a clean card is that if you want to go further, you could just keep on going. 
on top of this. <laughs> I love how the postage edge is giving the dot detail. Then I have the sentiment thinking of you that's popped up. Have this with the lunar paste. Gosh, this is so gorgeous. This little stencil gift that keeps on giving. What I did use on this though, and I'll be completely honest with you because when it comes to stencils where one design is close to this design, I put a nice big roll of mint tape and scrapbook.com has some lovely mint tapes. I just roll it down. So I only had this panel. And this panel is six inches wide, so it went, I just put it here, tape, tape, and then just put on with one of those applicator tools and put on that lunar paste. I think it's just so gorgeous. Then I said, okay, I still needed something. So I went in with, this is from the Sealed by Spell Binders Collection on sale. In there, one of these standalone dies, Sealed Ginkgo. And I've been wanting to play with this so love and that's why these standalone dies are so fabulous because you can use them by themselves you can clip it down if you just wanted that part of it or use the whole length and notice i don't even have a wax seal and i think it works this image this here ginkgo this. leaf gives that nautical look at least to me kind of like seaweed so that's what i was going with like i did yellow i did green and then on brown here i was playing with the colors here but i think the brown works in this whole earthy look what do you guys think? So love. And it is a top folding A2 card. This little stencil, winner, winner, from a completely different collection, newly released. It's from the Hummingbirds collection. Okay. Alrighty, crafters. That is it for my remaining two cards. Loads of products. If you've been wanting to play, remember, workshop is coming. You can get those class kits too. Main class kit, advanced class kit, or just watch. The main class, which is the beginner, and then the advanced. And give hot foiling a try. You will not regret it. This is not the hot foiling that you can take your nails and just scrape off and the recipient gets it and then a month later it's like shedding. This technique is using your die cut machine to press it in. And that is what creates the magic for longevity when you're using Glimmer Love. Two thumbs up for Glimmer hot foiling and it's beautiful. Alrighty crafters, everything will be detailed and linked below. Until the next video, sending an ocean of thanks for watching my videos. Alrighty crafters, stay crafty my friends. Bye!